Hey YouTube, in this video we'll be doing a shop tour of my shop. Um, if you like this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content when it comes out. Let's get started. Hey YouTube, this is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Hey, today we'll be doing a tour of my shop. I got uh, several requests saying, hey, can you kind of show us around? And so um, with that said, uh, this week's video will be a tour of my shop where we, uh, we basically do everything. Let me go ahead and get behind the camera and let's get started. Okay, first things first. Um, as much as the term shop is awesome, this is actually a two-car garage in a residential neighborhood. Um, if I come up here and flip around, You'll see what I'm talking about. Just pop out. Basically, you've got two cars. Um, right here is, is where we do park one. and But this is where everything happens. So we got the 2020 WR450, which is completely modified and completely awesome. And this is what we do mostly in this uh, shop, as we'll call it, is we work on the bike. We get it ready for the next week's ride. We do all the stuff. But with that said, um, I've really modified this garage to fit our needs. First things first, let's start with the floor. The floor is awesome. Last year when the pandemic started, I actually did spend some time. I've got the middle grade Rust-Oleum product and actually put it on here uh, from Home Depot and did it right. And it looks awesome. Put the chimps in, did all this stuff. We, uh, everything in my uh, shop has a, has a space. So we've got the mountain bike hanging up, perfectly fits in the corner right here, um, and it clears the garage. Um, I've got two Craftsman cabinets here that actually hold a variety of tools. If you take a look around here and open up, it's pretty organized, but they'll have all of our Ryobi tools, various cleaning products that we use for cleaning the bike, and the other one's full of tools as well. So nice and clean, things are uh, kept away. Got a three-tier uh, Craftsman toolbox got loaded to the hilt. Um, again, if you guys know me, everything is labeled and organized and is, is ridiculously organized. Um, if we move up top, this is where we do all the air filter. So I've, I love the, the dirt tubs from Twin Air. I'm just getting ready to replace the fluids from this year. I'll have a whole nother video on doing uh, air filter maintenance. Love these for doing, uh, just letting them soak and get all of the dirt out. And then I use the liquid power, the blue stuff, uh, for the oil. Um, we do have a full-blown air compressor up top here from Craftsman. I kind of got the power running behind. It's nice and out of the way. Um, and then beside it, I have a 50-foot hose reel, which is great. And it's several attachments, and it's also out of the way. And the wood at the bottom is actually part of a rooftop tent that I have for doing a self-loader. Actually going to do a video on that, too. If we just keep kind of moving around, we have a workbench. Um, this is where a lot of things happen. This is a good workbench. You can bring it up and down. I've got a vise mounted to this. I've had this vise, I think, my entire life. Um, battery packs are 40 volts as well as 18 volts. Um, and then a variety of hooks, different pieces. We did put some lighting in here. You can see that's extremely bright. Got that, and then I've got lighting up on the ceilings as well which actually gives a lot of good, uh, almost like daylight in here during the day, but also at night when the garage door's shut and I'm working out here, you know, you get a lot done. Got a fan up top here. It does get hot in here in the summer. We're in North Atlanta and we're in August right now and it's about 100 degrees. Variety of pieces, go dogs. <laughs> I'm moving. Over here to the side, we get a little bit more uh, camping oriented stuff. We have some motorcycle containing here, awesome Liat helmet. Got our generator down at the bottom, tools, gas cans. This whole setup right here is for all my camping gear. And then got to have your big buddy. Um, I use that to heat the garage in the winter while I'm working in here, but I also use it for camping as well. And then we got kind of a camping shelf up here too with our Watt Fun um, power station and a variety of things that we take out with us. Got some golf shoes. Um, no garage is complete without the fridge. This fridge uh, is kind of overflow for the uh, for the house as well, but you know it keeps all the stickers from the places where we were going. Had a big summer of this. Already went to Yellowstone, as well as the Tetons, which is where we we're at, and then Park City as well. Um, just kind of going around, you know, golf clubs, different pieces. I keep my mountain bike 
uh, rack for the back of the car over here. Just variety of boots and stuff. All right, so my roof is not that tall in here. I had thought about putting in a, uh, a, a thing to hold the rooftop tent. So this is my awesome rooftop tent. It's pretty good. There'll be another one. This is from Overland Vehicle Systems or OVS. And I've got it sitting on a furniture mover so I can move it around. Ladder, you keep all of our fishing gear over here as well. Um, before I go, continue on, so I've got these shelves mounted up. I bought these on Amazon. They're four by eight and they hold a ton. So we got Christmas gear here. I've got a two by eight system over here. It's got these air airline cabling, more Christmas gear. We've got the same setup over here as well. And then if you look above the garage door, I've got all the way moving along the sides there. Last main thing that we have in here is our dirt bike carrier. This is our Black Widow. I got a video on it as well, but I, I hung it to the wall um, just with ladder carriers. Nothing really major. Put four of them in here to hold it. And then I did put a vinyl piece here so it didn't smash through the wall. And um, this is really, really my shop in a nutshell. Nothing major in here, but this is where all the work done. So again, it's a two-car residential garage, but it is my shop. Hey, thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this. If you really uh, like this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content when it comes out. Thanks and have a great day.